Sodium Fusion Test. The Sodium Fusion Test, or Last Saints Test, is used for the detection of the presence of nitrogen, sulfur, and halogens in compounds with one or more than one type of heteroatoms. To identify these elements, we need to convert a covalent compound into inorganic salt by fusion with sodium. The procedure involves four steps. First, the unknown and sodium metal are prepared for fusion. Next, the unknown is heated in the presence of sodium metal. Then, the ions are extracted. And finally, the resulting solution is gravity filtered. As sodium metal may catch fire, we will perform this test in a fume hood. We are going to use the solid unknown and sodium metal. We store the sodium under liquid paraffin in an airtight container to prevent contact with air and water. Use a graduated cylinder to measure 10 ml of distilled water. And then transfer it to a 250 ml beaker. Using a forceps, take a piece of sodium from the storage container and place it on a clean filter paper. Dry it with filter paper to remove the coating of paraffin when sodium is wanted for use. Then, freshly cut a small, about 3 mm, cube of sodium metal with the help of the knife. Return unused sodium to the storage container. Dry the sodium before placing it in a clean and dry ignition tube. Then add about 10 mg of your solid unknown using a spatula or three drops of a liquid unknown using a pasta pipette into the ignition tube. Being careful not to allow the unknown to touch the sides of the ignition tube. After preparing the sodium and your sample in the ignition tube, the tube needs to be heated. After carefully turning on the Bunsen burner, remove any unnecessary items from around the Bunsen burner. Be sure to have your beaker of water close by. Grab the tube with some metal tongs and turn the Bunsen burner onto high flame and hold the bowl of the tube against the hottest part of the flame, facing the neck of the tube into the back of the fume hood. It should look like a meteor re-entering the atmosphere. Hold the gauze mat to protect you. The contents in the tube will begin to melt and combine.
Once the bowl of the tube is red hot, plunge the tube into a beaker of water and cover with the gorse mat. Ideally, you want the bulb to smash completely. Turn the Bunsen burner back onto the safety flame. Next, the contents need to be boiled. Swirl the contents in, in the beaker and make sure everything is combined, then put the contents on top of the Bunsen burner to allow them to boil. Make sure to have a tripod that will sit close enough to the flame, otherwise the beaker will not boil. Once the contents have boiled for around 2 minutes, take it off the Bunsen burner and be sure to turn off the Bunsen burner. The contents now need to be filtered. We are going to fold the filter paper into the fluted filter to increase the surface area of the paper in order to increase the speed of filtration. A fluted filter is used to remove solid material, such as glass. The filtrate is called sodium extract or Lassane's solution. We are going to take a close look at the filtrate. The filtrate should be colorless. If it is not colorless, the sodium fusion must be repeated. Only colorless solution is used for the detection of sulfur, nitrogen and halogen. Good luck!